the power solutions for our off-highway industry in the future is likely going to be a no one solution fits all approach. I'm uh, Benu Gupta. I work in the John Deere Power Systems marketing team as an engine product strategy planner. I look at what are the power needs for our vehicles and then I also assess alternate power solutions in terms of their technology maturity, the market readiness and drive implementation strategies into our vehicle products. In the last 50 to 100 years, the choice of power solution has been an internal combustion engine, a big engine or a small engine, like in your lawn mover to a big marine engine. So the technology was kind of scaling between the combustion engine solutions as a choice of power. Where we see going forward uh, in terms of the low carbon solutions requirement in the marketplace, and changes in the emissions legislations and some of the technology developments happening in our adjacent applications to drive this decarbonization effort. We are at a fork where we will likely end up having different power solutions defined for different segments of applications. Some of our customers, they use our equipment in some of the harshest places in the environment, run in the remote places and then they run at a very high horsepower and a long duration in a day. So for such type of applications and customers, we foresee the internal combustion engine will continue to be the choice of power in the next decade or even two decades. Because the internal combustion engine brings in the advantages of power density, it brings in the advantages of extended operating range, and then it leverages some of the existing infrastructure to refuel. So as such, what we are doing at John Deere we're continually investing in uh, improving the engine fuel efficiency, reducing the emissions footprint of these engines, and also assessing technology options to allow them to use biofuels, which will reduce the carbon footprint of operating these internal combustion engines in the applications. Our focus on solutions is to assess options that we can actively engage today to reduce the immediate carbon footprint of some of the installed base machines today. That's where we see renewable fuels coming in, playing an active role. So specifically in the renewable fuels, we evaluate biodiesel, renewable diesel, and then other liquid fuels that are more readily acceptable in day-to-day -day applications like ethanol. However, there are challenges in terms of our customers' ability to use these fuels in terms of their availability and in terms of their cost. But we are continuously evaluating and upgrading our engine technologies and assessing to see how we can approve higher blends of biodiesel usage so that our customers can start to implement those if those fuels are available. So if we look at the last 10, 20 years, the battery technology, particularly for a mobility application, has advanced tremendously. However, even with such technology advancement, it has its limitations on its ability to satisfy an off-highway application need. So the battery technology as we see today is perhaps adequately matured to satisfy low horsepower machine usage or low horsepower applications in terms of the energy density on how much do they weigh, volumetric energy density in terms of how much space you need and how much energy can you actually design and integrate into your vehicle. As we assess these technologies, you have to account for various factors in terms of these alternate technologies' ability to replace the existing internal combustion engines. We have to understand what is the ecosystem impact in terms of whether it is refueling or recharging that equipment. We have to understand the maintenance aspect of it, how readily or how often can you actually uh, need to maintain this equipment. So there is a whole magnitude of aspects that we have to evaluate in assessing these power solutions and their readiness to be able to do the jobs that our customers are doing with the existing equipment. So at John Deere, we thoroughly evaluate and continuously assessing each of these parameters in understanding which of these technologies is ready to be able to go into our vehicles. And we are bringing in the right solution at the right time for the right applications 
based on the technology maturity and the readiness.